Hey everybody, Asher here. Welcome back to War Tales, where we are in Arthes, and it is a foggy, foggy kind of time. We have traveled so far. I mean, we made a few detours along the way, but we went from all the way up here, around here, near the top and side of the map, and made a nice detour through here where we still have the Broker's Tale to do, but we can... That's not our problem for today. We actually have some old shit over here that we need to deal with. So that is all fine. I do want to go ahead and take on some Inquisition soldiers, but my goal here is actually multifold. We do have some places that we haven't so much gone through some of the quests over here. Um, and we do have we do have a few things that we need to do. Like there is an artifact hidden in the St. Eleanor Abbey. I kind of want to go there, but I really want to go to the Arthes tomb. Um, that's kind of one of my big checklists for let me deal with stuff. And speaking of dealing with stuff, you know what, Tarek, Tarek, there's supposed to be some options here for some of this building relation stuff to try to bring you in here. And I think some of this just may be because poor Tarek has been with us for about two different community patches now. I, I think it's time to let him go. If only I can figure out how. He feels unhappy being guarded by wild animals like mere cattle. So, yeah, look at all this. Look at all his trust. And he was apparently starving one day. So, he's he's scal he's a scowler, as it were. I don't exactly know how to release him unless we do it from camp. Will he try to steal from us later? I don't know, but Tarek... There we go. Manage our companion. Only options are release and dismiss. Free Tarek. Well, here we go. He's a level 4 phalanx soldier. He's no longer in our troop. He's a friend of the beast, and now he can wander the world here in nakedness. We have Septel, who we're not going to talk to because she wants us to stay in the other county. It's fine. You just ignore your problems until they go away. We have spices, which I swear Cordia didn't used to sell. But, like I said, we have a ton of food. My goal is to go north. We're just going to figure this out. We got a, a big nest egg of money here. Let's start by going back over here. We we can actually... We're actually still pretty full up on supplies. I'm a little surprised by that. But it's because we bought all the beans. We bought some braised chicken. We bought a bunch of salt. So we bought a, we bought a bunch of things to try to make it work. More importantly, we do have torches. And I think... We need to start thinking about possibly giving some people some torches. Like, I know I know you have bombs, and I know you're a sneaky guy, but you may need a torch. See, we got so many two-handed people. I, I hate to get rid of some of these weapons, but we're going we're gonna to have to figure it out. I mean, we'll, we'll see. I, I'm thinking about giving Theranol a torch. Um, she's been a solid main tank and she still has really good armor. Um, but let's go ahead. We don't have to worry about that yet. In fact, we're not spelunking anything yet. So get your, get yourself some bombs back, buddy. We are, we're doing this today. Somebody set us up the bomb and his name is Nerum. So I don't know if we have other stuff we need to do here. I honestly can't remember. It's been a little while since I've played this. And it's not that I think of myself as, like, near the end. Even though this is... We're, we're getting... There's, like, two or three goals I have left to wrap up this series. Um, let's go Let's go towards the Abbey and see if we can do, do the good rest thing here. Because I do want to look for the artifact under the Abbey. That seems, like, that seems like a fun thing. Also, fishing is a useless profession. We're near this whole river and there's nowhere to fish. Alright, so... Are we exhausted? Of course we're exhausted. But yeah, I have, um... We have some people sleeping. Looks like there's a treasure chest. And a something here. Dried fish. Um, you're... You're asleep. I don't want to die. Not so soon. Okay, Reese. And, um... Eloi. Ah, it hurts. It's probably not how... It's probably L.O. Um, talk. It'd be very grateful if you could supply me with some flowers, specifically snow irises. 
So this is what we needed. Thank you. I can finally get to work. Thank you very much. Take this. I hope it's rewarded. We got a blueprint for a gurney. Interesting. We will learn this now. All right. And on this gurney, wherever it went, um, one injury is healed during a rest. That's really good. We haven't had to deal as much with injuries so far, and I think some of that is largely because of the difficulty setting. Um, when I revisit this game again later, I do think it is going to be on a much higher difficulty. So um, let's see here. I'm trying to do this with my left hand, like that makes a difference because I'm using a mouse. Look at this. Picking locks with my off hand. You can't see it because I don't have my ga my camera on, but it's a it's a pro gamer situation here. I'm, we're not going to talk about how many lock picks I've gotten rid of. I'm just trying to have it so we have to carry around less weight. This is the hardest lock I've seen in this entire game. That's three lock picks. If I had done that right-handed, it would have been fine. You know, it's interesting. Oh, Children of the Adorian, a history of the retelling of the death of Edor. And we have a prayer book, some spectacles, and a brace blueprint. All right. Um, I'm going to take all these things because it's not stealing because we, we won the prize by opening the mystery box. All right. So here we go. More knowledge. There we go. Reading the prayer book doesn't do anything. Um, learning the brace. Is yet another thing we can build. We don't have the wood for it. Um, this brace immobilizes the limb to accelerate healing. But yeah, if we can play this on a higher difficulty, we definitely can. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, definitely have to deal with injuries some more. So I want to see what you have to say. How do you feel about stopping the usurper and levying his taxes as less than the burden on the farmers and I could feed injured people? That sounds like a good talk, but I want to know where your secret entrance is to the um, under under the place. Oh, it's not that secret. It was sitting out in the open the whole time. It's too bad we only have eight lockpicks. This one's obviously going to be more difficult because it is in another, um, it's in a dark corner. So we're doing this with our eyes closed. You know, I probably could do this by sound. That's not true. Yeah, one, two, and these are very difficult locks. Three, three down. There we go. That was with my right hand, so clearly things are not as bad. And now we're underground. We're in the crypt. I don't know if we can actually move in the crypt, but we do have a treasure chest down here. And exit. And it doesn't look like we're getting attacked, so... This is sealed by a puzzle. One of the pieces is missing. Well, let's give a puzzle piece and see what happens. The puzzle's now complete. You are a novice, uh-oh, novice scholar. Oh god, it's a slide puzzle. Oh, I hate slide puzzles. Um, I'm so terrible at them. Like, you all, you all, you all don't even know. I may have to I may have to edit this just because the the controls here this is this is breaking my heart just a little bit I I actually have a problem so let's move this up here that's really not how we want to do it this this controls really slow Okay, that's not what we want. Alright, so if we tap the piece, does that move it into the empty space? Yes. That would be why it's going really slow. Alright, so this is pretty terrible. Okay, so we have 
an arch of some kind. And we just need to put the other thing down in the wrong down in the wrong area. So if we leave, can I reset? We have the great solvester. Let's talk to you. Oh my oh my, you seem to struggle with the solverize this puzzle, my dear mercenaries. Looking for you. I am willing to help. For a paltry sum, I will solve this puzzle that has you so flummoxed. We can persuade him for 60. We can pay 80. I'm going to do this one more time. Please allow me to observe you. So hopefully that wasn't a one-time offer. I'm going to do this one more time. Now that I know how to control it. But oh my god, it's left how I left it. That was not what I wanted. Okay, so... This makes sense, right? Like, seriously, all I can think of is there's this little bonus puzzle in uh, Final Fantasy 1 that was like, okay, this piece needs to be up here, and I need to apparently walk the dog around to make it work, and I don't think that's going to happen. So we'll just, we'll just pay the money to our uh, friend here. We'll persuade. We'll be cheap. Oh, you're right, my good fellow's a great solver. does not solverize anything with a few merely crowns, but for the love of solverizing, allow me to work my magic. Ah, the puzzle's been solverized. Hooray. Alright, so we inspect. Artifact is not inside, but you find a map that could lead you to it. Oh boy, crowns. Inquisitor rendezvous point. And no other puzzle piece, so that's interesting. Show on the map. Oh god, it's one of these again. So have we been anywhere that has like a river and some fields and shit? Maybe. Okay, thanks friend. Really got us out of a jam. Okay. What do you know? There's there's all kinds of places. What is that sound? That's like the howling, the howling winds of doom. Well, nothing says howling winds like let's take it. Let's take a camp. All right. So we're actually missing meat to dry. Huh. Okay. We have a camp chest that also does not... We have a brain we could dry, I guess. We kept our beans and our wheat in the bag. Okay, ringleader's dagger. That was the old dagger. Why haven't we been able to get rid of you? Because you're a lieutenant and you're not just a bandit. So... Maybe that's the case. All right. So we actually don't need this meeting place. We could sell it. We have sandstone. Can we whittle that down into puzzle pieces? There's probably puzzle pieces all over the map if I explore other things. Alright. Hey, we can have her work the campfire, so make yourself useful. Um, we can't lectern anything. I think we're missing resources to make things like a gurney. Yeah, we had to, we had to surrender all of our illegal wood, didn't we? So we don't even have legal wood now. All right, I guess we just um we cook and we make some pork stew and some mutton stew. And that looks delicious and I don't know what my animals are doing in the other room, but I'm a little I'm a little concerned. All right, so no grilled pork today. Well, here's the fun thing. When you walk into another room and your cats suddenly stop making loud thunking sounds and all they do instead is just start licking themselves. You know something has happened, but we don't know what calamity awaits. But they're going to they're just going to start doing it again. So, we have 42 pieces of cured meat. I got 42 pieces of jerky and uh what? Oh, that's the that's the wrong song. Okay, 0.7 Beans. I want to point this out. Grilled pork is that. That is a pound of beans. That is four pounds of beans. We got bread. Mushrooms are amazingly heavy. Brandy is appropriately heavy. That's a pound of eel. Just eat the pound of eel. Let's fill them with sadness. All right. We don't have to pay our wages this time. I don't think we're going to get attacked. All right, so everybody's happy. Nobody's not on fire. We have one person who's really irritated with us. 
and once we look up here, I think we're going to have, um, we want to take the middle path because the mountain, I don't know if we can actually climb up the Python. I think we have to, we can only walk down. So we got to try to find our, um, bounty. We still have our, um, like these are inquisitors. There's your old customs post with all your, all your bandits hanging out. It's location defended. That looks like that's our peeps over there. So we're gonna, and we got more boars. Actually, don't need any boars today, so we're gonna skip it. But inquisitors, I would love to inquire about what you're doing here, standing in the middle of the road. All right, so run, heretics! Fear of the divine wrath of the all-seeing eye in Saint Jeru. Okay, Abbot. Hey, you got a nice-looking mace. These lands must be cleansed of ungodly souls. Blood will wash away their sins. Death to the heretic trackers. Let the light sweep away their pagan idols and bestial gods. Well, hey, Abbot. And we got we got some other things with them. It'll be it'll be a good time. It's war tales. Apply directly to the forehead. Makes me think of Asher Game Club, which we just selected our first game to. Uh, play together so if you want to see what that's all about you can check it out on the discord in the meantime we have a zealot a purifier it's been so long purifiers interesting zealot they here's septal who um that's that's our septal i was like hang on that's not their leader their leader is hiding all the way over here like a friggin' jerk. Fortunately, we can engage the leader right away. So, um, leader's aggression. This unit always deals critical hits. So as long as we can engage you in a hurry, who's going to be best to engage? Probably Theranol. And then we have Drake over here. Marcus can do some good work. Um, I'd like to have Nerum has weakened this guy so I do think Nerum can do a lot of work here but let's see who's attacking first this purifier is a jerk then that purifier is a jerk so round three we could always put Akra over there but it might be better well let's see here Matt Parker I don't just want to put both my tanks over here, so. We'll put Matt over here. And we'll put um, Rock Forehead over here. I need I need to support Septal though, because if she dies, that's um that's not a good thing. So let's put we'll we'll try to have Nerum um, take some of these things out. The problem, of course, is that um if we let that happen too hard, then uh, bad things will happen. So Theranol, let's do your usual thing of giving uh, hugs. And you don't have the best weapon, but you can tie down a leader. So Purifier's going to go over to Marcus. Okay. Well. Okay. What was your attack here? Okay, so we want to do them before they do us. I wasn't exactly sure what that meant now, I know. Well, I should have moved Matt first. That's what that means. Okay, so this purifier is going next. Which means we definitely need to put Matt on there unless we want to put Rock Forehead on there. But I'm going to put Matt right here and Matt is going to have a great time. I'm going to smash you in the face. And then Pernicious! It is a SAT word. Pernicious means it hurts, by the way. We can't actually do the stance thing now, so. See, no bonus damage. Alright, so this is a lot. It is gonna do a thing. Then we have Abbott's gonna do a thing, so we could possibly. We can't send Drake over there. That sucks a little bit, but we can try to attract this person. Okay, well, it's. It's near him time. So we have Reign of Daggers, we can Frenzy, we can Wrath potentially, we got... The world is open to us today. 
So let's move over here. Are we in? We're not in great daggering range. So let's hit escape. Because I really don't want to screw this up. Okay. I'm going to bomb it out. Preferably without hitting yourself. I love bomb lag. Wow, that's some serious lag. Huh. It must just be bomb specific. Alright, so we have potentially a wrath if I can get somebody's health down enough. I don't know if it's going to come to that, though. Let's try this here. So, frenzy. Can we get to wrath range? Maybe. Because this is its own attack and boop. Oh, with the frenzy fire. That's uh, that's pretty good. Okay. So who do we got next? Who's in the danger zone? You're in the danger zone. You're kind of in the dead zone. We got a fanatic and a zealot over here. You know what I don't mind doing? I don't mind moving you like right here. But this is probably better. And if we can just move you back to your friend and try to do that. Okay, that may not work perfectly, but we'll see. Septal, please, please kill him. There we go. You, you did a thing. And suddenly I feel a little worse about having uh, Alex over here because Alex, Alex can still do good, but we overcommitted, as tends to happen. Okay, so Matt. We have Tony, we have Matt. Who's going next? You're going to go. Okay, I'm not going to be able to get in a good position where I can hit both these guys, so I may as well just spiral rage and call it a, call it a time. Alright, so now we gotta figure out these two. Loses 10 health to deal 31 damage on the unit and ignores guard. Furious flogging! I guess that's a way to do it. Huh. Okay, well... You two are going next, so how can we do a good solid 1-2? I don't know if we can. Now what we learned last time is that we need to rampage first. Because then we can unleash to disengage. And apparently... That didn't work. Alright, cool. Um... Let's clean up the mess we just made with ourself by, um... I think Tony's the only one in range, so... Clean up. That's a solid crit. Also a solid crit. That's, a, that's almost 100 damage in one round, and he's vulnerable now. So, he can talk about his feelings. And he took a little bit of damage, and uh, Alex is going to be really excited about that. Okay, who's here? It's you, you bastard. I think Ferris may have something to say about this. The problem is I don't want Ferris to get into range. Well, I'll tell you what I can do. Ferris is going to get into range anyway. This guy's going to like it, because... He's at max health, so 40 damage, and then we recoil shot. Try to force the issue so that they're slowed down. And you go into the one position that kind of mitigates my uh, AoE attacking here. 
This zealot is still having a great day. So let's change that. So stunning assault. It's stunning! Says Rock Forehead. Always one for a joke. So Lothar of the Hill People is going to just give some fire support. We're not going to barrage. There's no reason to. This this map is not set up for it very well. Stab. Alright, who's left? Who haven't we moved? Marcus. Well. May as well. Right? And then spend a win. No wrath this time. But we do have a repost, so Marcus may give another tracheotomy. And fortunately, the purifier made the classic blunder of uh, actually not paying attention to the red line on the ground that all the animals pay attention to. Okay. Um, I don't know if Lof Lofar. I don't know if Lofar can get the kill. Aren't you supposed to shoot twice? Ugh. All right. Well, no tra no cutscene today, just a regular old smack. Okay, um... Let's see if Ferris can solve this problem a little bit, so... Actually has a 100% shot there. And then if we just push you... Did that disengage? Yes. So next round, well we end this turn. Okay, that's too bad. Got a little got a little too excited about what was going on. And now you have a fever. Why do you have a fever? Okay, um, so Abbott's going to be able to go, but if we walk over here, Abbott's not going to be able to go far. Get another Valor Point, because that's fun. Wow. What a jerk. But we'll just do our jerk thing now, so... Maelstrom? Not bad, and... Raging Soul, which I probably should have done first, but it's fine because it's a double kill. So we took a lot of damage here that we shouldn't have taken, and I guess part of that's just me taking this all very casually. Um, I hope that fever goes away because that's a, a little annoying. Guess my question for you is are you friend or are you food? Probably food. That's a lot of damage. Worm food, by the way. 39 damage, not as impressive as I was hoping for. But still, solid. Matt's like, come on now. Okay, Rock Forehead is clearly going to be able to make this happen again. And you need to move so that you are no longer on fire. Because that's how that's how you put out a fire. Alright, um, I think we can just do some mop up here, right? Let's go ahead and rampage here. That's 75 damage because we're galvanized. Um, no, we're not going to let him run. They set me on fire, damn it. We're going to finish the game. Wow. You wouldn't think an axe would make somebody's bones crack like that, and yet here we are. Um, Lothar is already gone. Tony probably can't do anything this round due to us only having one person left, but we'll get him in position for next turn because that would just hit my people most likely, so I could run. I still don't know if I get the shot if I run. I do get the shot. Do we get a second here? We get to push him. Bye bye. 73 damage. 
All right, so there's our there's our money. We got Eternal Youth deals 80% strength to all units in the area. If this attack hits several targets, this unit heals themselves for 20% max health. Well, that is a special weapon. It's actually called Purgatory. So we also got the Fanatic's Great Falchion with Furious Flogging. Gotta love some solid consonants there. And uh, Inquisition Mace. So, yeah. Um, good, good times. All right. Repair all. Doesn't look like anyone's actually injured here. We do have some raw materials. Drake is now a level 5 executioner. Which means he's going to be getting some... I kind of want to do movement, but... I'm going to do strength. Alright, so it's your Madness deals 30%... Uh, against units with 30 health or 50% damage against uh, so that's a really good finisher ability um, Reckless the first skill each fight deals 100% extra damage At the end of their turn this unit loses 10% of their maximum health. I think recklessness could work really well if we can make um, The first hit a really good aoe hit madness seems easier to proc but we're gonna do recklessness because why not Okay, you've completed the mission here, and we got some pythons as a result. It's probably not how it's pronounced, but it's fine. So now that we've done that, we can go... I, I still kind of want to see what this is, but we're going to go up here instead. So fighting the Inquisition seemed like a good idea at the time. Unfortunately, you do have these patrols running around that let you know that allegedly we can walk up these hills. There goes the cats again. Oh, we got we got some. Uh, I thought for a minute we had some uh, animals. Ooh, we're getting some serious lag. I thought I had some spirit animals. If we get spirit animals, I'm definitely taking that fight. Um, but yeah, the Arthi's tomb is where I want to go. There's the concealed camp. We've already done this. Where's your carrier? Are you here by chance? You should take your leave and be quick about it. Oh, well. Um, I guess the Inquisitor didn't really like that very much. I don't know if we can get on top of this hill. But I know we can go in here. Alright, so Niram is going to drop the bomb. And get a torch. Feels like the kind of thing where I should definitely be... I'm going to give you a torch as well. I know that lowers the defense a little bit. But we have so many people that are using two-handed weapons. So Brotherhood's Great Falchion versus the FFFF. Um, I don't like that as much. How about Purgatory on Matt? Matt has the Wrongdoer's Mace. We do like the perniciousness. I'm actually not going to use Purgatory. The healing could be very good. If we can proc it. I mean, Matt's not really here... To, like, do damage. But I do like him engaging and immediately putting fragility on somebody. So let's camp one more time. I will talk to you now. Okay, yeah, you're you are not going to make a name for yourself by standing there. So we're out of uh, meaty meat. Alright, so let's go ahead and just have a little stew. Have a little chicken, have a little bread. Maybe not that much bread. Have a little cured meat. Alright, so if we look over here, you again, you're just unhappy. So, he doesn't like, so am I just supposed to like have him like sitting over here guarding our stuff and fishing? Maybe. I honestly think I'm just going to get rid of this guy, too. This is, uh, we'll just release you into the wild. 
And uh, we're going to figure out another time about the whole prisoner system and how that works. But for now, we're here. We have Lothar. If only my parents could see me now! They'd be so proud of the fighter I'd become. So write loved ones and share your success. Celebrate success with the group. Or show off your skills to get an aptitude point. All right, so we um, we got an aptitude point. All right, cool. Just the one, but we can put it in dexterity. That's fine, Lothar. You you beautiful bald bastard. You got another aptitude point. Okay, cool. Which means it's time to go spelunking. Perhaps. So here's the tomb. I have never done this in this game before. I haven't really spoiled it for myself either, so I'm gonna love the comment section where y'all tell me all the obvious things that I missed. You'll need torches to light away as you explore the tombs. If, you're, if your light dies out, your troop will panic and flee the tomb. So we have light for 36. Let's talk. I wanna go back and look for my friends, but my leg, I can't stop bleeding. It was bitten last night. Yeah, we'll give him some medicine. My leg feels better, thank you. Can I come with you? I want to find my friends. So we get a bonus torch. I'm still gonna let her keep a torch right now, but I'm, I may not keep that there, so. We have 42 torches now. Exploring takes three torches. Oh, sweet. First person mode. A low growl resonates. You're surrounded, and it's the fun dead. More rat and creepers. Next on Six Sad World. I did hit the fight button, I think. Okay, yeah, it was just... Oh boy. Remember when I said we needed more torches? We need more people that can hold torches. Okay, um... Well, that's good to know. So if we just take jewels here... Let's kind of look around the map real quick. I think the obvious move here is to try to gather everybody up. So see, we got a mole rat here. Mole rats hate the light. So we go to where we go to where the enemies are. Nirim allegedly still has a torch. So yeah, we need we need to gather. It's it's just darkest dungeon again. All right, so we got rock forehead, and we need one more space. Our our archers are going to have a field day with this lack of light. Let's put Alex over here. All right, cool. I'll put you over here. Okay, so. No light, no lights. Let's send Matt to the mole rat, maybe. What debuff do you have? You're fragile, I guess you are. All right, hey, mole rat. Do not take this personally. Okay, maybe take it a little personally. I am gonna do a weakening blow on it. So we got our first kill in the dark. We have an unknown number of enemies. I have a Citrix workspace update that just popped up on the screen. Thank you, excellent timing for that. That was a lot of damage to Akra. I didn't actually see how much damage that was, but we don't know where the creeper is. We don't know where the mole rat is. So yeah, we needed more people with one-handers, it turns out. All right, so Akra is here and is gonna have a bad time. Let's see if we can put you over here. Good, we got another. All right, so we definitely want to engage. Sweet, okay. 
This is this is what I'm saying. This is this is what oh shit. Okay, I was about to say things were looking really good. And then instead of attacking, I accidentally moved one more time. So that's not great. There is somebody who's about to die from people creeping out in the dark. And I think she's actually important. So we gotta actually help her live. So that's that's an issue here. If you die if this person dies, you'll have to restart the battle. Okay, well let's um let's put Alex on the case. Okay, can we spend a win with Alex? Oh, that's right, she doesn't she don't spin no more. Alright, so one shot, one kill. All right, you are you are unleashed, and there's Rock Forehead. We're just we're just playing in the dark now. Can Lothar even shoot into the dark? Something tells me he can't. All right, so we got it. We got some pretty serious shit down here. Really wish Marcus could run. Well, we're gonna we're gonna do what we can as we can while we can. Okay, this should be double damage. Kind of rather. Oh boy. I mean that worked, but that's the second misclick that I've done. Because I wasn't trying to do Cutting Maelstrom, I was trying to do Raging Spiral. It's cool! You are just- if you're just running to your death, no wonder your friends abandon you. Okay, Theranol, having a- having a lovely day. You are really about to die. Okay, so... You know, if we're actually about to die, I may as well just put Lothar on here. It's 89%, that's 100%, so... I, I expected so much more from you. Okay, um, did we just get ambushed in the dark? Sweet. Okay, well, Niram's gonna have a great time here. Probably should be moving a few smaller spaces at a time, but we're just going to do it like this. So we have 36 torch strikes remaining. We're just going to frenzy. Really? I was about to say, you need to be daggering a little more, buddy. Let's see if we can... Oh, see, once again with the misclicks. Oh boy, I was hoping that was not going to happen. And that's exactly why... I wanted to move before I attack, but anyway, and you will be defeated if they die. Do you want to retreat immediately? No. But see, this is this is what happens sometimes when you just wander around here too hard. We need to get somebody up here with a med kit. Matt Parker has a med kit, so we just need to save her life. I mean, how easy is that? So you have no damage, so the move should be like this. And then... Oh, gotta love Escort AI. There we go. So everybody needs to live. We got, we got so many more undead here we can just um have a great time with it okay so one of these mole rats is gonna move we have another creeper somewhere we have another mole rat here there's a lot of enemies welcome to hell tony and marcus marcus can't do a lot this turn so let's get him in position to do good next turn 
Really? Alright, so Julius is dead. We get to restart the battle, but you know what? I am going to go ahead and just... Let's see what happens when I return to the menu. Um, oh, shit. Okay, well... I didn't mean to end the run. That's a very unauspicious way to go. Because I wanted to restart, I just wanted to see what going to the menu would be like. Well, damn! Okay, I'm going to see if I can fix that or if this is done. Otherwise, then... That's War Tales. And uh, early access time, so... We die, we die in the cave. I'll have to see. I'll have to see what I can do. Because I don't want it to end there. Clearly I was going to fight again. I was just going to call at a time and say, okay, I have to stop recording. But hey, like I said, if this, if this is it, if that's curtains for the run, it's been a good ride. And I definitely want to see this again in the future. So maybe it'll be in another episode or maybe not. Oh, awkward. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.